90, you think 95%? Right, 90 to 95%. Now, it isn't all malfeasance and it isn't all dishonesty. It can be small samples. It can be bad experimental design. It can be bias in the beginning of setting up the experiment. But mm. And we're seeing more and more actual uh, malfeasance. There's currently a website called Retraction Watch, which uh-huh. monitors all the studies that are retracted. And usually it takes pretty blatant uh, misconduct to get a retraction, uh, a study retracted, but it happens every single day now. Wow, yeah, I'm just bringing this website. I'm going to just bring it on to the uh, to the show. You might be able to see it, Doc. Is this the right website, retractionwatch.com? Correct. Wow, and what does this website do? Well, it, it publishes all the studies that are retracted by the journals. Oh. Or by, for example, uh, uh, the one at the top, the cancer researchers. I think the university retracted his. Interesting. Uh, there was uh, just recently uh, a researcher publishing stem cells for heart failure, and he just fabricated uh, the data. And I don't know if you remember the Biox uh, anti-inflammatories. Uh-huh. An anesthesiologist actually was fined a huge fine because he just he just made up the data. He just fabricated it out of thin air. Isn't that crazy? Wow. So these That's people crazy. can. So what happens? People can. People can make up things, and then what happens to their career if they get found out? Uh, well, hopefully that's the end of their career, and it's the end of their chance to mislead all of us. You know, it's when I was a student and, and a resident, if it was in the medical journal or a textbook, it was like sacred writ. Right. And doctors all over the world depend on the medical literature to make clinical decisions that sometimes are life and death. And um, if we... If we have protocols that are wrong, uh, then we're going to hurt people. And that's one of the reasons we have so many medical errors and so many medication side effects, because well, we don't really try to cure anything anymore. We just try to treat the symptoms with drugs. 